We are in our pre-competition phase, basically tactics and strategy. There is a big difference between tactics and strategy. Today the emphasis is only in, in tactics. Tactically, the students need to know where they are on the court, what position they are on the court. Because where they are on the court is going to determine the shots that they have to hit, the percentage shot that they need to hit. To do that, they need to have a clear image of the five zones of the court. From here to the fence is zone five, zone four, baseline to here, zone three, zone two, and from this cone to the net, zone one. We're gonna go one zone at a time, and we have to know what the player has to do from each zone. In zone five, from here to the back, the players are gonna be playing defense. From here, what we ask the students to do is to hit the ball high over the net and to the middle. From here, the student needs to hit the ball and they need to go back and recover immediately. They need to recover, going back to the baseline. So what we don't want to do is to hit the ball in zone five and stay in zone five. At the same time, when they hit the ball from here, the ball needs to go five rackets over the net. So they need to hit the ball high and deep. Zone four, most of the, most of the points are going to be played from zone four. This is called rally zone. In the rally zone, we keep the ball in play. In the rally zone, we don't increase our rally head speed. So basically, we hit at the same rally speed, our normal speed. From here, we make no errors. Also, from zone four, the ball goes four rackets over the net. The main thing from this zone is we don't make any errors. We don't hit the ball in the net. Also, from zone four, we start opening up the court slowly. Taking our time, we start opening up the court, waiting for the short ball. Zone three, from here to here is zone three. Anytime we are inside the line, we can do more with the ball. What we ask the students to do is to open up the court, attack movement. The opponent has to be moving from three to six steps every time he makes contact with the ball. So from here, we need to be opening up the court. If I'm inside the court and I don't make the opponent run six to three steps, I'm wasting my opportunity. Also from here, if I hit a very good shot, I can follow that shot to the net. If my shot is weak, I need to go back to position again to the baseline. We have to take advantage of this zone. The angle shots from this area, the angle shots are very effective. From here, we move to zone two. As we can see, zone two is the biggest zone. It's the biggest zone. Most of the players today are aggressive baseliners. Aggressive baseliner means that they keep the ball in play from zone four. Anything that bounces in zone two, they're gonna try to put the ball away. They're not gonna hit an approach, they're not gonna hit a slice, they're not gonna hit a drop shot from here. They have to put the ball away. One of the key characteristics of the champions is that they have no fear. Anything that bounces this short, they're gonna look to hit the ball. And that ball cannot come back. Now, we're looking for the forehand. So anytime the ball bounces in this area, we ask for the students to look for the forehand, even if they are off the court. They need to look for the forehand and they need to put the ball away. We're going to talk about how we put the ball away later, or the, the mechanics of how we put the ball away. But tactically on zone two, we hit the ball expecting the ball not to come back, but at the same time, we have to follow the ball to the net. We don't want the students to hit the ball from here and run back to the baseline. We want them to hit the ball from here and follow the ball to the net. The way we follow the ball to the net is we always follow the ball. So if I hit the ball down the line, I cover this area. If I hit the ball cross court, I cover that area. But I always follow the ball. Now, zone one. When we come to zone one, from here, we finish a point. Once we're in this area, we don't want the students from here to hit the ball twice because probably they're gonna lose the point. From here, they come to the net and they put the ball away. We wanted to put the ball away, hitting the volley, cross court and short, stick in the volley. No touch, no finesse, come here and stick the volley, cross court, open up the court right away. From here, zone one, they have to finish a point. 